Good morning, I'm Minister Mary Thomas. Thank you for joining us for a time of prayer with Embassies of Christ Kingdom Ministries. Dr. Cedric and Joyce Oliver would like to thank you for joining us on today. Today we are declaring that the world's challenge known as the coronavirus has ended and all diseases related to it are bound. As sons of God, we bind it on earth as it is bound in heaven. We command territorial bully spirits nationally and worldwide to release our economy, healthcare system to the loving will of God for his people, for blessings, favor, peace, health, increase. We also pray healing for all those who are sick in any areas today. And right now in 1 John 5, 14 and 15, it says this is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have received it if we asked him. John 5, excuse me, James 5 and 15 says, And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well, and the Lord will raise him up. And 1 Peter 2 and 24, it says, By Jesus stripes, we are already healed. Not going to be healed, but we are already healed through Jesus Christ our Lord. So, Father God, we just thank you on this morning for your love and kindness and a multitude of your tender mercies. Father God, we thank you for this time of prayer. Father God, and we just thank you right now, Father God, for the U.S. government, Father God, the president's the president, the elective judicial and uh, legislative made and carry out God's will through godly laws and programs. Father God, we thank you that godly leaders are voted into office. We thank you that leaders live godly lives free of corruption. We thank you, Father God, right now that godly judges are placed on the bench on every level. We thank you that our president is saved and is blessed with the wisdom and mind of Christ. Our president carries out God's will for the United States of America. Our president and his family are protected from all hurt, harm, and danger. Our president is surrounded by godly men and women. Father God, we thank you right now, Lord Jesus. We thank you that America's, Americans are saved, prosperous, delivered from debt, and healed. Father God, we know that the thing that we are dealing with right now is this coronavirus. But Father God, you told us as children of God, it would not come near our dwelling. So Father God, we just pray a blood covering, Father God, over the people that don't know you as Lord and Savior as of yet. But we believe in, Father God, that there will be an abundance, Father God, of souls coming in, Father God, during this time of this um bully that's going on right now this coronavirus we pray father god that people are coming from the north south east and west to give their lives to you we pray for their healing right now father god we thank you father god for the health care workers that are attending father god those people that have been struck with this illness we pray for the health care workers the first responders father god that are helping these people during this time, Father God. We cover them with the blood of Jesus that won't any harm come near their dwelling, Father God, nor their families. Father God, we just pray a blood covering over them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for supernatural healings taking place right now, Father God. People are looking at this situation and woe is me, but we say God is alive, let him be glorified during this time, that we are going to see miracles taking place during this time of this coronavirus. Father God, it is a spirit and we know that it came from the pit of hell and we sent it back to the pit of hell from which it came. Father God, we cover, Father God, all families right now. We know that some people are afraid because of jobs being closed up, but we thank you for a release of finances right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that in our communities, Father God, in our states, Father God, that people will be a blessing to other people that might be short of 
things that they need. Father God, we just thank you for a spirit of charity being brought out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, that souls are going to be saved, Father God. People are going to come to know you because of this very thing, Father God, that people are saying, woe is me. But Father God, we are going to lift your name up so high. It is time for the sons of God to be revealed. And Father God, we thank you, Father God, that every church, Father God, and every city, Father God, that people will go out and still witness and tell people about Jesus that Jesus can save you. He can heal your body from the top of your head to the soles of your feet with the precious blood of Jesus. Father God, we thank you that you have given us the power as sons of God to speak and call those things as though we want to see them. Father God, we want to see our children back in school. We want to see people back at their places of employment. Father God, we want to see the churches that have closed, Father God, because they're saying too many people are there, but we want to see those churches open back up, Father God, where they have overflow, Father, because people will, will come because of the prayers that are going forth, Father God. We thank you, Father God. We call the United States blessed, and we pray for the 257 nations right now in the mighty name of Jesus, the missionaries, Father God, are in these different places, Father God. We thank you for them carrying the word, Father God, a word of faith, Father God, to believe that they can receive Christ as Lord and Savior in their lives and walk in divine health. Regardless to the coronavirus, we have stumped that under our, put that under our feet. Because we can, because we are born again believers. Father God, we thank you for the power that you have given us as speaking beings to call this coronavirus dead and gone. Father God, and that your people will rise up, Father God, and carry the word that God is on his way back. We need to get ready. It's time to stop playing. It's time to get close to God and do the will of God to do what God would have us to do at this time, and this time, 2020, and this year, 2020. Father God, we thank you. We give you glory, honor, and praise, and we just thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you're doing and what you're going to do, Father God. We thank you right now, Father for um we just thank you that americans are saved and prosperous and delivered and debt free and healed father whatever might be binding them we just thank you right now for doing this father god that we will see this with our eyes during this time father god to see father god the miraculous things that you're going to do, that you are doing even now. We thank you. We give you praise, honor, and glory, Father God. We just thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So tomorrow, same time, same place, a special time of prayer um, here at Embassies of Christ. And we pray that you have a super productive day on today. God bless you.